And heading in with many of them saying, expecting an experience of a lifetime on a low kick. And at the five, picked up by Elder, taken down. On the low snap. Looking over the middle, trying to get free. Thomas giving chase, and it's going to be incomplete. And Amari Rogers, who is recently back, of course, is one of the great wide receivers in college football. He's back around the 40. And a fair catch. So that means that Trevor Lawrence and the offense brings up second down for the Tigers. Lawrence coming off a big passing game against Syracuse. Going to go long right away. Has an open receiver. That's Higgins. He is into the end zone. Touchdown. 58 yards. T. Higgins. And an explosive start for Clemson. Trevor Lawrence takes the snap. You see the double team just splits it. And then just too much speed by Higgins. This is able to catch the vertical and head into the end zone. There's Brent Venables, the outstanding defensive coordinator. On another run, it's McAllister this time as he pulls ahead and gets the first. For the rest of the way, with Big Ben out the remainder of the season. Finding the edge on the outside and getting to the sideline for a lengthy run here was LeMay. Second and nine for Reynolds. Fire over the middle, and that one is picked. Taken by Wallace. This one he hangs on to. He takes to the sideline. Still on his feet. Across the 20. Trying to tiptoe in. Touchdown, Clemson. A spectacular run after the pick. And the Tigers with a pick six. One of us, and it appeared that he was in bounds to me live. You see K.J. Henry get a great block there to his left, number five. And then as he cuts back here, I think he's got plenty of room on the sideline. Look at the effort, though. Isaiah Simmons running down the field. Staying in, staying in. That's a touchdown. That's a touchdown. And one of the things that happens in touchdowns, you see it there, K.J. Henry. Puts LeMay in motion. Going to fire to him in the flat. Looking for room to that right side, but they get to him pretty quickly, and they deny him. Tore up that knee, Tim. It's an incredible story. It's an absolutely incredible story. He's playing with a knee brace on, which you almost never see out of wide receivers. And, you know, talking to some of the Clemson coaches, they've been really impressed. He's old, and he's been impressive to see in terms of his bounce back from that. ETN taken down eventually by Fugate. But a gain of 12. These players all wear catapults during the games, which are devices designed to track a variety of measurables, one being speed. On that 87-yard TD, Rodgers ran it at a 4-2 clip, which is the fastest he's ever moved. What could have been turnovers for that defense. And ahead of Etienne, straight up the middle, still on his feet. Finally taken down around the 20-yard line. A gain of 26 yards. Like to run. You see Trevor rolling out to his left. The offensive line just stays with patience. It really, it wasn't blocked. From the 21. On the run to the right side. That's ETN trying to get close and get inside the five. The last couple of weeks, Zay game, but so far he has been tonight. J.C. Chalk, the tight end here. He gets a great block. It's just an outside zone run play. Look at him come off and, and really create that alley. Another handoff. Trying to spin close to that five-yard line, but taken down. ETN again, busy man on this drive. Watts with the hit. And a gifted quarterback to roll. Looking for the end zone. Fires the back of the end zone, and that one broken up. Intended for T. Higgins to make it 17 to nothing. And it's good. So the Tigers rolling 17 nothing with 5.03 to go here in the first. Shown himself to be a very successful back. Low snap. Reynolds rolling right. And will whip that one to the sidelines, but out of bounds. And incomplete. Pressure there by Niles Pinckney. About to go on the attack again. 
And a good one to drive him back. He's going to take it. At the 20. 25 looking for a block. And ahead of the 40. And he encourages all of it. The dancing in the locker room after a win. On the carry is Dixon again. Trying to get ahead to the 40. But he'll pick up a first. Second and four. And got to try to get free along the 30. Take him to the sideline as he steps out. Five yards passing against Syracuse. That's a career high. No throw here and caught by Angata in traffic. He'll be taken down on the five yard line by Osborne. Then Jay Dixon again to back along with Lawrence. Looking to throw. Time in the pocket. Fires and a touchdown. Complete to Powell. The Tigers strike again. Yet another target, the junior from Greenville, North Carolina, Cornell Powell. All kinds of wide receiver roles. Powell string. You see him in the side, just runs a little arrow route. Look at the amount of separation. That's an incredible route on Pittman. Great work by Powell. They have the football first and 10. And a handoff LeMay with room to operate on that left side. He'll pick up the first down. Run out by Tanner Muse, but not before the first, and they moved the stick 16 yards. The left tackle, Clark. Look at the job that he does. Man, that's a pancake. Will Healy didn't. They're talking with his offensive line. Reynolds back to pass. That pocket disappears. Justin Foster got to him. Got to him quickly to bring up third down. 2-265. Two, two you mentioned Thomas, of course, the All-American candidate. That's going to be complete. They're going to bust it for a very sizable gain. That's Ishad Finger. Probably the smallest guy on the field at 5'6", about a buck 70. Reynolds on a shotgun. Short pass. Looked like it was tipped, and it's going to be incomplete. A.J. Henry breaking that up. You know, this is a great opportunity to play in the first half with a lot of starters for Chase Price. He's going to keep and run it for the first. On the side, at least for the moment. ETN, strong carry. So he'll pick up the first down. A little bit of a dust up. They'll be separated. Wants to throw again. To the corner, tie up and that flag coming on that one. Well, the interference on Pittman. Price with a handoff, ETN, and right down close he goes. Did he get in? It will be a touchdown. Travis ETN with a touchdown. Done an incredible job of using him the right way. You know, but. He'll play the nickel slot, cover wide receivers. Oh, McAllister, guess, was finally tripped up. Mm. Saved an even longer gain. He broke free for 18. Another handoff here, trying to left side, still on his feet. And finally pushed out of bounds by Skalski. And a late hit on this. A flag is down. Levels from the gun. A handoff with an opening off to the left side on the run by McAllister. Simmons with the stop. Which is incredible for someone his size. He is some athlete. That's Thomas getting free. Thomas taking down LeMay. He's so good. I mean, you see just him react to the run and feel as if he's playing a number of different spots. And there is a lot to get out of him. Third and 17 on the flip. Off to the right. Try for the sideline. That's Henderson who will step out. And another flag here. Third down for Reynolds. Looking for the end zone, but incomplete. Looking for Henderson, but couldn't get it to him. Jonathan Cruz trying one from 24 yards. He and Trevor Lawrence were teammates at Cartersville in Georgia. And he'll drill that one to get them on the board. We're coming up at halftime tonight. Think about it, Dave. We've been here twice, you know, to call games, and you've described it as, you know, some of the most exciting moments in sports leading up to an event, and yep. it is pretty cool. 
Chase Bryce taking over at the quarterback spot. Here's Dixon off the edge. Still rumbling along. Finally dragged down at the big first down. He picks up 18 yards on that carry. Bryce 6'2", about 230 pounds. Very talented quarterback in his own right. Fires and incomplete for a flag down. Going to be interference. While at the controls. Dixon with a handoff. Stayed up. Trying to get inside. Did not. Just shy. But first and goal on the snap. He'll leap high and into the end zone for a touchdown. Dixon gets in as he goes airborne to make it 37 to 3. That looks like it was from a movie. Are you kidding me? Lynn J. Dixon over the top does a flip. Well, you look at this, the instant gif, as they like to say, Dave. As you see here, look at he just, I don't know that you could do that. I mean, it's like Walter Payton up over the top. Good push of the guys up front. He dives into the end zone. A lot of people knew what the, the result was going to be in this football game. But you want the energy, the enthusiasm, the effort out of your group. And you just look at what happens here. Take a look at this formation. Highly unusual. Here's the first punt for the Tigers. They'll let this one roll all the way down inside the five, down to the one yard line. Following the penalty, Reynolds straight ahead. Trying to scamper for some room there, taken down by Tanner Muse. Very nice. 11 10 to go in the third. Price to pass and hits Price, the tight end. And it takes a whole league of players to bring him down on a first down game. There are like over 150 guys who got into that contest. He's going to be flushed out and sacked. He's taken down by Highsmith. His first big play in this one. It's happening here. Chase Bryce is just trying to throw the, the, the quick screen and then get a rail route going up here by Chalk, but it's not there. Clemson, excuse me, Charlotte does a great job of covering it. And so now all of a sudden, Chase Bryce doesn't have anywhere to go with the football. So second and 22. He's going to throw it. Throwing long to the receiver and the catch and a touchdown. And got him. 38 yards for the strike. Beautifully thrown ball. And got him maybe the most impressive looking of the bunch. Yeah, it is amazing to watch them in practice. Had a chance to do that in the indoor facility. And you're a really good wide yeah, receiver. I mean, he's good. The, you know, the camera guy down there is good. I, I was able to get a behind the back pass off. I've never been able to do that before. Third one on the pitch that goes to McAllister. You know, Syracuse played a little bit better on offense, but yeah, I think you do have to give credit to Brent Venables, the defensive coordinator, and see his son Jake Venables in the game at middle linebacker. I think it's one of the cooler things, standing the reward and the excitement of playing in games and, and why that matters. And, you know, his staff has really bought into that because really they're the ones that control it. Big hit. That's going to be scooped up. And that was Sweeney down there. Well, Sweeney. And into the end zone, the 49ers with 5.43 to go. Third down, six come up on five minutes to go here in the third. Quarterback will keep it. Reynolds heading for the end zone, and he is in for the touchdown. Chris Reynolds on the sneak. And so Charlotte gets a touchdown tonight here in Death Valley. Celebrates touchdowns, and look at McAllister on the, you know, bit of his own read, and it is a keep. And and Reynolds, who's you know been banged around tonight, does an excellent job of kind of tucking that football and getting up the field. And on second down, bouncing outside, still on his feet, now finally diving out. He's had a good block there. Don't know what the future holds in terms of who the backup quarterback is. They carry it for the first down and then some. From the John with a first down. Talked about him being a good runner. You know, it's this is basically quarterback counter. He does a, gets a good block from Davis Allen, the tight end, and you know cuts it back. And for a for a guy that's 6'3", 220 pounds, get a chance to see him throw it a little bit. 
And that one picked off. And that was Osborne. In the route, it's an out. He jumps it, ball's left a little bit inside. Osborne makes a nice play on it. The opening game against Gardner Webb before Reynolds took over after just two series. On the left sideline, scampering his elder was really fast. He has tremendous speed. Keane will hand it off. McAllister tried to get free, but nothing doing there. Met by Balin Spector. And it was fascinating to watch because they ran three plays with the player actors at halftime. With 80,000 participants, tip your cap to the fans here tonight. They really got into it. They know they're going to be in the movie. And a fair catch right at the 20 yard line by Will Sweeney. <laughs> this is great. Look at Hey, man, it was cool. He want to get another look. On a run, Sweeney, as he barrels forward for a big game. Well, that was right on cue. By the way, the movie will be launching on November the 12th. Bumachan, number three quarterback, back to throw. Steps up a bit in the pocket and throws short. Intended for Jalen Lay, the tight end. Chips, 2016 and 18, was perfect 15-0. A season ago, many are predicting a repeat performance. Play a lot more, and obviously that's not going to happen here behind the gift of Trevor Lawrence. Keen rolling to his right and complete. Stepping out around the 40-yard line dollar. Yeah, he has an uncle, Mickey Kahn, who's the safeties coach, and I think he's grown up wanting to be a Clemson Tiger and play here. Yes, sir! It was LeMay trying to get free, but no place to hide there. Jake Venables. Like, you know, I don't know. I mean, is that, I mean, who's telling? And then, you know, it's your son being coached, and you've got to kind of shut your mouth a little bit. They eat him alive there. He's able to get there because Venables does a good job of covering the receiver going out to the flat, which meant there wasn't anywhere to go with the football. Running the offense here for Charlotte. On the handoff, breaking free. Pretty good gain here. Nice shot finger. Again, at about 5'4", five, 5'6", five, depending. 80,000 loved it. Second down at two. Bumachan on the spin, picks up the first down. He gets to midfield. The Tigers are going to roll to a perfect 4-0. This will make it 19 consecutive wins. On the short toss, a flag is down on the play. Catch made by Drew Sweeney. And a big pile up. Again, a flag down, including, you know, his own sons. The coach's sons are playing. They're getting some action here tonight. On the carry, it's going to be Dukes. And he scampers in. 24 yards for the touchdown. Michael Dukes. Michael Dukes with some good blocking on the perimeter. Did you see it? Excellent effort of the uh, graphics interchange uh, format. Yeah. And he says it's Jeff. So that's a lot of information. Yes. Did a lot of research. Yeah. A little too much spare time, perhaps. And then we'll see down the line if anybody, certainly until we get to playoff time, anybody can test the Tigers. Absolutely loaded again. Brown will try and run with this one. He takes a hit at the 40. Okay, Tim, I would like to see you out on the lanes, buddy. Well, there's a well, challenge here. That, that gauntlet has been thrown. Well, I know this. Tremaine Ankrum held that guy like that, who's a very good player, take advantage of those opportunities, and um, it's enjoyable to see him have some fun. Batson keeping it, trying to dart inside. The touchdown passes, but really wasn't in there very long. That's Chaz Malusi through in yeah, the final seconds. For guys to play and have some fun, and they're trying to get another snap off here. They got it off of the carry. Here's McClure, and finally taken down. And that will do it. Clemson wins this one, running away 52 to 10 over the Charlotte 49ers. Davos Sweeney and the Tigers now off to a perfect.